The fall of the Soviet Union in 1989 marked the end of a decade-long occupation in Afghanistan, but it also laid the groundwork for the rise of the Taliban. In the years following the Soviet withdrawal, Afghanistan descended into chaos and factional infighting, paving the way for the Taliban to emerge as a dominant force. This video explores the period from 1989 to the eve of the 9-11 attacks, focusing on the Taliban's rule, its policies, and its growing association with Al-Qaeda. The Emergence of the Taliban The Taliban, a predominantly Pashtun Islamic fundamentalist group, gained prominence in the mid-1990s. The movement was led by Mullah Muhammad Omar, a charismatic cleric who sought to establish a strict interpretation of Islamic law and bring order to war-torn Afghanistan. Many of the initial Taliban members were educated in Pakistani madrasas, religious schools, and were deeply influenced by Diobundi Islam, known for its conservatism. By 1994, the Taliban had captured the city of Kandahar and quickly expanded its territorial control across Afghanistan. Winning support from disenchanted Afghan civilians who were exhausted by years of conflict between warring Mujahideen factions. Taliban Policies and Governance The Taliban's rule was marked by a strict and austere interpretation of Islamic law. Their policies were rooted in their conservative religious beliefs, leading to widespread criticism and concern from the international community regarding human rights, especially concerning women and religious minorities. Under the Taliban's rule, women were subjected to severe restrictions, including being banned from education and work. Public executions, amputations, and lashings were used as a means of enforcing their strict version of Sharia law. Non-Muslim minorities, such as the Hazaras and Sikhs, faced persecution and discrimination. Afghanistan and the International Community The Taliban's policies and human rights abuses drew international condemnation. Most countries, including the United States, did not recognize the Taliban as Afghanistan's legitimate government. Instead, they continued to support the Afghan resistance groups known as the Northern Alliance, which opposed the Taliban and was led by figures like Ahmad Shah Massoud. During this period, Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda, sought refuge in Afghanistan, developing close ties with Mullah Omar and the Taliban leadership. Bin Laden had been expelled from Sudan in 1996 and saw Afghanistan as a safe haven for planning and conducting terrorist activities. Al-Qaeda and the Taliban's Association The relationship between the Taliban and Al-Qaeda deepened over the years, with the two groups sharing a mutual interest in promoting a radical Islamist agenda. Al-Qaeda provided military training and financial support to the Taliban, further strengthening their ties. In August 1998, Al-Qaeda launched devastating attacks on the U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania, killing hundreds of people. The U.S. responded by launching cruise missile strikes on suspected Al-Qaeda training camps in Afghanistan. The Precursor to 9-11 The 9-11 attacks in the United States on September 11, 2001, were the turning point in the Taliban's relationship with the international community. Al-Qaeda, led by Osama bin Laden, claimed responsibility for the attacks, leading the U.S. to demand that the Taliban hand over bin Laden and dismantle Al-Qaeda's presence in Afghanistan. The Taliban refused to comply, triggering the U.S.-led invasion of Afghanistan in October 2001. Operation Enduring Freedom aimed to remove the Taliban from power and disrupt Al-Qaeda's operations. The Fall of the Taliban and Aftermath in a swift campaign, the U.S.-led coalition succeeded in toppling the Taliban regime. By December 2001, the Taliban had lost control of most major cities. Mullah Omar and other key Taliban leaders retreated into hiding or fled to neighboring Pakistan. In the aftermath of the Taliban's fall, Afghanistan began a new chapter in its history. The country transitioned to a new political order, attempting to establish democratic governance, rebuild institutions, and promote human rights. Conclusion The era from the defeat of the Soviet Union until the eve of the 9-11 attacks was a tumultuous period in Afghanistan's history, marked by the rise and fall of the Taliban. The group's strict interpretation of Islamic law and association with Al-Qaeda drew international attention and condemnation. 
The events during this period laid the groundwork for significant geopolitical changes that continue to impact Afghanistan and the wider world to this day. The fall of the Taliban marked the beginning of a new chapter in Afghanistan's history, one filled with challenges and opportunities for peace, stability, and development. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like my channel please hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment to support me.